Okay, let's try the one key takeoff. Works great. Lower her down a little bit. Give her a little fly. This thing actually really flies nice. Your right stick is your forward and, and back and yaw. As you can see, it spins around. Now I've got it in mode 1. There's mode 1 and 2. You can see the difference in the speed. I was in mode 2. Now I'm in mode 2. You can see the difference in the speeds, how they work. Works really well. I really like flying this. I have the obstacle avoidance on, so if something is directly in front of it, it should actually turn away from it, which works really well. And I believe I also have the... No, I don't have the... Uh, have it on for having stuff underneath it, it it'll adjust the height so it shouldn't crash so that's what's nice As you can see now it's getting it wants to turn away from things that's because of the obstacle avoidance it, it'll turn it away normally oh there I brushed that with the back that that happens though I really like this little guy she flies so nice and it's in the house it's it's fun to fly in the house it'll actually uh, move around and do things and it's small enough you can actually fly it. Well, let's see. Go here and get the one key landing. Hey everybody, here's a new kind of again unusual video for me. Uh, I'm doing a second helicopter. This is the KY-202 Black Bee or Expedition. This is uh, supposedly a clone of a military helicopter they do uh, reconnaissance with or some different things with, but this is a clone of that. Uh, this has got a 4K camera on it. Uh, pretty cool. Uh, let me give you a quick little look. As you can see, I have it out of the box. Got some nice lights underneath and on the front, we got a nice light up on top. Got your camera, obstacle sensors, uh, I did put the uh, landing gear on it already. You don't have to because it can land it in your hand and everything like that is kind of fun. This thing is uh, really nice. Actually, it's it's a lot smaller. Uh, the the first one I did uh, was a Sima Raptor uh, revo for by Revolt brand. Uh, and that one is the S39H. It's a little bit bigger helicopter. And I bought that first and then I seen this. And it actually, from what they shown about this, really flies nice indoors. Uh, it's got obstacle avoidance and everything on it. That's the front sensor. Uh, okay, well, let's take a quick look at the box. Again, you can see it was out. So here we go, Up, upside down. All right, you can see here, obstacle avoidance. It's got a six axis gyro, uh, optical flow positioning. Uh, basically what that is is underneath it's got a sensor so it'll sense things below and it'll go up and up and over it without you having to put in any input to do it. Uh, image transmission so basically FPV uh, but that's to your phone so you do have camera that way and it can take pictures also. Uh, it's got an app, Wi-Fi app for your video and you can fly with it from what I've seen. I'm not going to actually use that but uh, you can. Uh, G sensor gyro, so or no G sensor. I'm not 100% positive of what that is. All right, and then uh, it's got HD photo and video. According to this, is supposed to be 4K. Uh, these I'm not the most versed at, so here is going to be one side. Front you've already seen. Another side here. You can take a quick look. That's we already looked at that one. Here's that side, and the bottom we've already done. Uh, next, what comes with it. Get a couple extra props, screwdriver to put on your landing gear, and I think to replace the props if needed, and your charger, and in the bag is also screws for the landing gear. They do give you one extra one, I got five. Or that could be for something else too. Here's your user manual. This is the one in English. Uh, well, no, that's the one that's in, I believe, Chinese. Here's your English. 
You can see there, it tells you what your controls are. Foam mount, helicopter, uh, it tells you it's got lithium battery with it. Uh, it tells you how, what your functions are of your control. You can see that there, I'll just basically scan through here real quick. And again, it just tells you everything that goes on. Uh, it does have a second one here that tells you you can download your app and gives you the different features. There you can, if you need to pause for anything, you sure can. All right, so there is that. And then you've got the remote. All right, this is your obstacle avoidance here that you can turn on and off, and that's just in the front. Uh, this man, er, takeoff button, landing button, this is to calibrate your gyro right here. Uh, you've got on top, this is your two speeds. Uh, all it has is two speeds, like high and low. This is for taking a picture or video here. Uh, you have this is basically for a battle feature it has. You can actually go and have competitions with another one. This one controls your lights. This turns on and off. That is the, the avoidance for going over something below you. So if it senses something below, it's going to go over it without you having to put an input to do it. And this is like a demo mode. Uh, you got forward and reverse and then your yaw left and right and your stick here. This is just basically your speed. It's got altitude hold so it stays in the center. You bump it to go up, raise you up, raise you up, raise you up, down, goes down. Uh, you can bind it that way too. When it comes up it actually binds normally right away uh, and you can actually just bump it once. It'll start the, start the rotors and you hit it again and it'll take off for you and then you just pull it down and hold it and it will land or you can go down slow then when you get to the bottom you just land and it will land for you well that's about it for that now we'll see what we can do about uh, possibly getting ready to fly this thing